I don't know how to say this. Quoroboros. Quoroboros. We're gonna go with that. Hi, you dolls. Welcome back. And if you're new, hello, my name is Jessie. And today we're going to react to season five, episode six of Cobra Kai Quoroboros. Terry recruits an expert in the way of the fist. We're gonna meet our lovely lady that we saw in the trailer. Daniel walks away from a fight because he's broken. And Johnny and Chosen pick one. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Johnny and Chosen. In prison, Kreese confronts old demons. And we're gonna see Kreese. Let's just jump in. This is season five, episode six of Cobra Kai, Quarterboros. Boy, here we go. Sensei Kim Dayun. I'm afraid John Kreese is no longer with Cobra Kai. You asked me to bring the best senseis my Tojang had to offer. I have done so. Terry's such yeah, a piece of shit. He can't even say what really happened with Kreese because he knows people would be like, um... Your grandfather didn't teach American soldiers the way of the fist just to use on the battlefield? I bet you she's real you. good. You're going into work. All right, so he didn't break his arm? We need to make plans. Guys, he just really hurt his sentiment. arm, I bet. I do. You did help kids. You want me to make a list of how many ways they're hurting because of this, including my own daughter? They're like, you, know, you got us up. all here together. Now we're finally here. You don't want to do it, Daniel. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, granddaughter. Sensei Silver didn't even bat an eye. Is there something else? Robbie broke up with me. Mr. LaRusso got really uh, hurt because of us. When I get out of here, I'll take care of the other. You don't care about what happened to Mr. LaRusso? A little longer. Yeah, but you gotta, gotta make sure she doesn't get hurt, Kreese. I don't know why I really thought that Kreese was gonna be like affected in some way if i didn't get hurt. hurt you that hard oh terry. my god devin so good to see no, you no 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 since i terry silver has made me a very generous offer oh my and god I'm they're literally Rosenthal. taking over I'm like it either terry sucks you'll be given a new sensei you're replacing me terry this wasn't the deal we made he's Losses so slimy and right that ends today nichols you're with me no your champion stays here. Oh, she's scared. Yes, she's a lot in a little package. She's like, <laughs> she's like, one mm, thing. You're you're letting Silver win. I'm gonna go down there and beat his ponytail ass. You can't just march down there like a one man army. The hell, I can't. Amanda's son is right. One man army, not good. Thank you. I come with you. It's not what I meant. These are my jellos. What do you think about that, old man? Oh, he's gonna get him later. Easy it was to get along with all the other men. <laughs> is that so? Wait a second. Mm. She blocked our picture. What is this shit? I'm Jeez, happy to hear that you're doing right well now? with the others. You're not just sweet talking me to get you a good recommendation, are you? Never. No, of course not. Oh, shit. Wrong. Better. Not by much. Mm. My mom always said, I'd love to kick cancer's ass, though. Oh, and they can relate over that. I like Devin. You have used your strength to train each other. Off, guys. But I'm, I'm ready excited. for him this time, and I can be dangerous, too. I robbed him while he was on date. Oh, yeah? I pushed him down the cliff. <laughs> I fight him to death. That's he great. always fight for what he wanted. <laughs> he took a man down with a single strike to his pressure point. Who do you think teach him that? What the hell? Boy. Run into Dana Ryan. You will get eaten. I find a way. Open Miyagi Bang. Got denied? Doc. Cut the crap. Excuse me? She's like, I see right through you, you think sweetie. This is my first day. I'm free all tomorrow morning if you'd like to chat. Chris is like, I'm a piece of shit, but I didn't do this. <laughs> oh, what? Uh... Strength. Determination. I thought you were a sensei. I am a sensei. Then act like one. Yeah. Whip them into shape, Doc. You think something happened in your past? Who was she? The love of my life. Whatever it took to save yourself. Violence followed you home. Did I read your file? Take the anger they feel. So you don't feel any regret? The people you've hurt. Hmm. <laughs> Young Johnny. To make my students tough. I wanted them all to be better than me. 
I know you can be better than the person you've become. You just have to find them. Johnny! How long you trail at Kim Sang Yam Dojo? No! Uh oh. Healed from his injuries so quickly. What the hell? I'm not Daniel. And <laughs> Seven against one. Too much advantage. Yeah. Dojo. They're pure protein. You're only supposed to eat one or two. For real? Come on, Kyra, really? She'll set you up with a pass in case you want to train after hours. Oh. He definitely will. Tori's worried about her. reached out after class yesterday. The test was not for her. It was for, for you. you. We pair of nunchucks and it's lights out, baby. Uh, okay, okay, let's just take a breath here before we start entertaining assault with deadly weapons. Mr. Miyagi avoided a fight whenever possible. But he also fought when he had to. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, here we go. We're getting the crease fight. <laughs> It's like I'm kind of like in prison now. Oh, they got everybody at the dojo. Mr. Miyagi's room. <laughs> I love Mr. Miyagi. He loved you so much, Daniel. Ah! Sam and my dad told me what was going on. All of us. Will you fight? No. Oh man! Woo! That was a doozy. That one. What? It, what? It was Corabora. Boros. Q U R O B O R O S. Oro. Oh my god, it's not a Q, it's an O. Oh, Jesse. Ouroboros, or or Ouroboros, is an ancient symbol depicting a serpent or dragon eating its own tail. Very interesting. The Ouroboros entered Western tradition via an ancient Egyptian icon iconography. Iconography? And the Greek blah 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 blah. Okay, that's pretty cool. That looks really cool, too. All right, so there you have it. Episode 6, Ouroboros. And that was a very, very good episode. That was a very sweet and promising episode, even though there were some still, you know, crazy, hectic things happening. I absolutely love this, though. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. I know that Daniel was having a mental breakdown. He kind of cracked, and they needed to get him right back on the path that he was supposed to be on. And I just think it means so much to him having Amanda having... <laughs> Having Chosen and Johnny next to him, having all the kids that he has tried to help, having Robbie come and tell him, like, you helped me, having Miguel there. When he finds out, knowing that Miguel and, and Robbie have made amends, it's just going to be so amazing. Having Sam there, you know, it's Anthony, who he's literally been getting to, to trying to get to do karate since season one. It's, uh, it's just everything collectively coming together. It's going to be so beautiful. We got that awesome scene of Johnny and Chosen fighting the one sensei, and that was, it was just so beautiful. I love it. I just want to see so much more of them too because again I love them each as individual characters and together it's just oh my god their personalities I love how they're trying to bond and rival over like who beat up Daniel worse it was so funny so having them be senseis in the same dojo and and seeing them train together is gonna be fantastic you got C. Crease. Crease is in jail prison jail I think it's jail I don't know, but he is having a mental break of his own, which is probably a good thing. He's trying to trick this psychiatrist into believing that he's ready to leave early, and she's like, uh-uh, I don't, 
I, I see right through this. I, I have been doing this long enough to know that you're not being genuine. And I think that this therapy can genuinely help him because he mentions to Tori, she goes, Mr. LaRusso got hurt and she's concerned. And he's like, oh, great. That's fantastic. <laughs> One more enemy down. And she's like, what? Like, you don't care? He, at the end of the last season, had started to make a tremendous progress amount of progress and I think that he can continue with that if he works on it but I feel like he was making progress and then it got halted because of what Terry did and him being in jail go figure of course and now he's kind of picking up where he left off continuing to progress and I and I love that because I kind of like nicer I like edgy crease I don't like dick crease I like edgy crease uh because he's still got like that sass and that badass in him but he's not a complete and utter mental case like Terry is. I really hate that that Devin is a part of Cobra Kai. However, I feel like Devin is extremely smart for her age. And I think that she, when her and Tori had that conversation about cancer and Tori was helping her with their strike... I think that she could sense that kind of, it's like the Miyagi-Do uh, Miyagi Eagle Fangness in her, where she's like, I sense that you're, we're making a connection. I sense that I'm getting through to you, you're kind of getting through to me. And I know that she knows that Cobra Kai is shitty, but I don't think like she knows how shitty it's gotten since Terry Silver has been there. I think she's going to learn very quickly. And I think that having Devin there is good for Tori because it's going to keep her balanced. I can see that when she was fighting Devin, she kind of lost it for a second. And she went like, like this to like hit and then stopped herself. Like she, she can easily snap, but she's learned to control her anger better. But this new sensei is trying to, get that out of her is trying to make that come out more so and uh, and while she's trying to suppress it which is not a good thing but I again I think Devin's gonna be the the center of her to look at her and be like don't do this don't act like that this is a reminder Whew, that was a lot a lot happened uh we got we met all the new senseis we meet the granddaughter of the actual sensei who taught in the military, which is very, very interesting because it's like you could bring in senseis that know their shit. You could bring in extremely well good fighters, but to have the actual blood relative, the granddaughter of the sensei, even the the one guy that Chris uh, or that uh Johnny and Chosen were fighting, he's like, I've trained. She, he's like, how long have you trained in the dojo? In the dojo? And he said, my whole life. I've trained there my whole life. So the this is a hardcore dojo. They have some crazy, like, secret assassin freaking senseis going on here. I was really afraid that Chosen was gonna... Chosen and Johnny were actually gonna try to fight them. And I was like, eh. Chosen fought the ones that Terry had. But the ones that Terry had, even though they were good fighters, they were just regular senseis. These are highly skilled, trained senseis. So, I mean, while I feel like they would have put up a good fight, seven against one is insanely ridiculous. Or seven against two, rather. I don't think it would have been good. Um, and going back to Crease for a little bit, I love that we got to kind of walk through his past a little bit, seeing, you know, the, the guy that he pushed into the snake pit, seeing the love of his life, seeing young Johnny and then Johnny and seeing Tori and, and you know, and seeing young Crease. That was really cool how they kind of first had him come out and then in the initial blow, that initial punch was our Crease, the adult Crease. Uh, I think that was filmed really cool. And of course, how could I not love this? We get to go into Mr. Miyagi's room. We get to see the original paint the house manuscript. Oh, it's so bizarre not having Pat, but still being able to feel him through Mr. Miyagi. Like He isn't here, but he's so here and it's the most bizarre, weirdest feeling but it's just, it makes you feel so good inside. And so I think this was the perfect way to get Daniel to see, like, hey, we, we can't stop this. We have work to do. 
we have people to protect because we love them. Let's get it done. So, oh, I can't wait until the next episode. We're going to see the, the train. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Everyone throw a like and dislike if you do. Do not like what you see. But comment down below. Let me know why. I subscribe. If you have not yet, we do fun things here. Ring on the link middle to be notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. Follow us on all social media. But that is it. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.